tooth is composed firstly of the outer covering, the enamel, which is one of the hardest substances known to nature, and serves as a protection to the delicate body of the tooth. Now we'll look at a section of a single tooth to see how it's made up inside. First is the outer covering of enamel, then an inner layer which is called dentine, finally the heart of the tooth with its nerves and blood vessels feeding and nourishing the tooth as a whole. The middle layer, the dentine, is made up of millions of hollow tubes. In this diagram, just a few of them have been indicated. The purpose of the dentine is to act as a shock absorber, protecting the heart of the tooth. Let us just take three of the tubes and go in still closer. Now we can see that there is at the bottom of each tube a cell from which a hair-like fiber runs up the tube. Continual hard biting grinds away the surface of the tooth and this stimulates the fiber which causes a deposit of calcium to be laid down to act as a protective layer over the surface of the soft pulp. In time, with continual hard biting, like the Eskimos do, the tooth would become literally solid. But with our soft, civilized food, we don't bite hard enough for this to happen, and the tubes remain hollow and much more vulnerable to decay. Decay is caused by the sweet, sticky foods which cling to the surface of the teeth. Left on the teeth, these form a film which destroys the enamel. Once through the enamel, poison spreads rapidly, germs pour down through the hollow tubes, killing the fiber inside. The guardian cells recede, laying down new deposits behind them. But if the germs get a real hold, it is too late, and they eventually reach the living heart of the tooth. By this time, the tooth has begun to ache, and if it is not attended to very quickly, an abscess will form at the root. The tooth has lost the battle, and you will probably lose your tooth. But if you go to the dentist in time, he can remove the decayed section and rebuild the tooth with a filling. That's why it's important to see your dentist regularly.